if you've never used a computer before. The first thing you need to understand probably about your laptop or your personal computer is software and hardware. Software you cannot see, hardware you can see. Hardware, the touchpad, the keyboard, the screen, those are visible. Software is what runs the hardware. Yeah? From that point when you've been able to understand that, at least get to understand the basics of powering up a computer or a laptop. Understand what runs the computer, an operating system. An operating system would be an operate or well, would be something like Windows. Windows is probably where you're going to install applications. For those who might be wondering about software that you install, you can actually install software that allows you to design stuff. You can install software like Adobe Photoshop. Learn how to even type. When it comes to you using your computer, study the keyboard, understand how you can actually be able to type. You can even try and download software online and install it in your computer. You can download software like WinRAR. It's a file extractor, right? You can also use it to zip files. You can download that. Download a browser like Google Chrome, yeah? Install it, yeah? And then it's also important for you to understand how to use tools like involved in the Google Workspace. Know how to use Google Docs. Google Docs is made like Microsoft Word, right? But now it's online. Google Sheets, Google Slides, understand how to use Google Keep, Google Drive. The Google Workspace is very important for you to actually get to grasp today. So many people have computers, yes? But the problem is you don't know how to use it. So for me, I would recommend this. Start with that. The basics, very simple thing. Even open a very simple software like Notepad in your computer and type something. Know how to snipe or take screenshots, quote unquote, right? In your computer, there's a very simple tool called the sniping tool in Windows. Learn how to use it. So that when someone asks you for progress, you can take a screenshot or even record a video of what you're doing on your screen. Learn how to install a remote desktop connection software like AnyDesk. Yeah? So that someone can probably connect to your computer and help you with it. Those are some of the basic things that you actually would need when it comes to digital literacy. We normally have curriculums on the same, but we also have recorded classes that you can actually get to access on click2skill.com. It's a platform that I've built where I have classes and courses over there.